Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a date table with DAX in Power BI. So before we start the video, there is one question that may arise in your mind that when we have auto date time feature in Power BI, why do we need a separate date table? So in auto date time feature, what it does is uh, Power BI creates hidden tables for each date column in your dimension table. So suppose you have multiple dimension tables and you have multiple date columns in your multiple dimension tables. In that case, what Power BI will do is it will create multiple hidden date tables in Power BI which can increase this space and it can drastically slow up your Power BI report. So this is the first reason and the second reason will be you may have different reporting requirements and accordingly you will have to create a date table. The customization of the date table is not possible in case of auto date time feature because the table is hidden. But when we create a separate date table, we can customize the date table as per our need. So these are the reason why we create a separate date table instead of using the auto date time feature. I think you would be clear with this. So now let's start creating the date table. As you can see in our data model, we have a sales fact table. You must be thinking why do we need a fact table here? So to create a date table, we need a date range. So to calculate the start date and end date, we use the date table which is present in the fact table. So here we have a sales fact table where we have a transaction date. So the minimum of the transaction date will be the start date and the maximum of the transaction date will be the end date. Now let's create the date table. For that, let's go to the table tools and here we have the new table option. So click on new table. Let's write the name as date table. First of all, let's create the two parameters for start date and end date. So the start date will be the minimum of the transaction date. And the end date will be the maximum of transaction date. So our two parameter is ready. Now let's create a parameter for the date table. Here we will start with the add columns function. So this add column, what it does is it, uh, it returns a table with a new column specified. So it, so in this add columns, we will add calendar function. So calendar function will act as an input table. And then on that input table, we'll add other required columns. So let's add calendar function and add the start date and end date, which we have created as a parameter. Start date. End date. So this calendar function, what we'll do is it will generate a list of dates between start date and end date and the output will be a table. So we have uh, given the input table. Now we will add other columns and the format will be we will write the name of the column and then the expression. So let's add year column. And then we'll add an expression for year. Year function. So this year function takes date column as an input column. So here, which date column you will give as an input here, we will give the output date column from the calendar function, which we have created in the previous step. So if I search with date, so it will give us the date function. If you go up, you will see this uh, date with a square bracket. So this is the date column, which has been generated by the calendar function. So we'll use this date column. There is another way uh, to find this date column is you will start with the square bracket and then write date. So I will click on tab and this is the date column. So our year column is done. Now let's add a quarter name column. So this will be format date and then we'll format. So here I will write slash QQ. It will give me quarters in Q1, Q2, Q3 format. Now let's add a quarter number to sort the quarter name here I will give the normal quarter function and the date column now I will add a month name column so here again I will use format function and write date and add three M's so this three M will give you the short name for month and if you add four M it will give you the long name for months here. Let's give three M so that it will give us short name for month. I will add month number to sort the month names and here I will give normal month function and this date column. 
now i will add a month year function because that function is uh, generally used in the line chart and column chart so month year is very useful and we'll use format function date I'll write mmm and then give space and then again write four wise for march 2021 it will give us mar 2021 if i give only two y's it will give us mar21 to sort this month here we'll write a column and uh, again i will write format date we'll write year in the long format and month in the short format so we cannot sort month here by month here sort because uh, this format function gives the text values so what we'll do is we'll add value function what this value function does is it converts a text value to a integer value so this will convert text to integer and then we can sort month year by month year sort next up is week name so for this i will write w for week and then concatenate it with ampersand and then write week number and date now let's write day name again i will use format function date and then write four d's four d's will give you sunday monday in the long format and then three d's will give you sunday sunday mondays in the short format that's it that is sun for sunday and if you give two d's then it will return the number format of the days let's keep the days in the long format now again to sort this day name we need day number so we will write week day this weekday function will give us the days in number from 1 to 7 so i think we have enough columns that is required for a date table let's close the bracket and then return this date table now go to the data view and look at our date table so this is our date table which we have created and what we can do is we can click on quarter name and sort by column i will sort it by quarter number now sort this month name by month number month year by month year sort let's sort this day name by day number and the sorting is done now there is one more step left so for that i will go to table tools and here you can see this mark as date table this is required for power bi to recognize that a separate date table has been created so that when, whenever you use any time intelligence functions it will use this table instead of auto date time feature so let's click on mark as date table and here we have an option to select columns as a date column so let's select date it says validated successfully now click on ok so it has marked this date table as a date table now in future whenever you calculate time intelligence functions in that case it will use this table instead of creating the hidden date tables so that was it for this video if you like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel and if you want me to create a video on some topic please write it in the comment thanks for watching